Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Finn Smart Water Care System. So let's just jump into it. What's up guys, it's Drew from Taylor Tech and on this channel we do smart home tech reviews, installations, and DIY guides. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And hey, at any time, check out the video description down below for product links for everything mentioned in this video and notes about what we're talking about today. So like I mentioned, we are going to be taking a look at and reviewing over the next week or two this smart water care system from Finn. It is Wi-Fi enabled, it monitors your temperature, your chemicals in the pool, it will alert you and recommend dosing and it does offer customer service and uh, expert support. It includes in the box uh, a smart monitor, which is the actual thing that goes in the pool, a Wi-Fi bridge to connect it, a calibration kit, an app, and one year warranty and monitoring subscription. Like I said, it will monitor the pool water and chemistry for you and it'll alert you when you need to add something. It supports a wide variety of chemical brands that you can just simply scan with your phone through the app and it will tell you how much of that chemical if it's supported to add. So it seems like a pretty solid system. So let's go ahead and start unboxing this. So here is the monitor itself that sits in the pool. User manual, and here is the Wi-Fi bridge that sits inside your house or garage. I'm gonna be putting it in my garage because I do have good Wi-Fi signal out there. And this is what actually communicates with the fin itself. And this is a calibration kit and a tether if you wanna tether this to your pool stairs or whatever so it doesn't float around into the skimmer basket and all that. But inside the calibration kit, we have a bunch of calibration strips and a, this is the tether itself. Okay, so this calibration kit uses these test strips. And if you do own a pool, you're probably familiar with test strips. And if you're like me, I always try to avoid test strips. So that's kind of a red flag just getting off the bat here. Um, these may be accurate. I don't know. I'm going to try it. I have a a really nice uh, liquid drop test kit. And if you own a pool or hot tub, I highly recommend getting a high quality test kit that you that is foolproof and you know for a fact that the chemistry is correct. And I will be testing that high quality test kit against the fin to make sure that this is accurate. I'm not a fan of these test strips. These may be better than the ones I've used in the past. I don't know, I'll also be testing these with against my test kit. But that being said, we're just gonna go ahead and set this up the way it says to. Hopefully it works the way it should and we don't have any issues. Okay, so I just installed the Finn app. I'm going to go ahead and sign up for an account, send the verification code. All right, so quick update. I'm trying to set up the bridge here and my Android uh, Note 9 just wasn't working with Bluetooth. These things communicate with the device via Bluetooth. And I think I had some kind of permission issue that is my fault and I was able to see it under the Bluetooth settings so that's why I think it's a permission issue. Anyway I'm just going to try on my uh, iPad here real quick and see if that works. Okay there we go. Uh, so I'll choose my Wi-Fi network, enter my password. Alright so now it's asking me a series of questions about uh, when I run my pump. Um, I have it scheduled to run three different times throughout the day for a couple of hours so I'll go ahead and enter that real quick. It asks you your pump schedule so that the fin can monitor the chemicals at those times so that the water is nice and circulated. So now let's go ahead and set this up. Twist end cap and pull down to remove. Hold end cap vertically and touch it to the drop. Then slide the end cap to the right. And it, the little drop just flash blue. Twist end cap and discard fluid. There's some fluid in here. Woo! Allergies. It says do not screw back into the sensor. So this part right here is where the actual water testing takes place and this was just a cap for that. So this goes into the space next to the sensor right in here I guess. And then this goes back on top. Okay, monitor's all set. 
Now we'll drop your fin into the pool and you're all set. Fin will now test your water 30 minutes before making any recommendations. So it just wants to make sure that the water is clear, equipment is in working order, blah, 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 and terms and conditions. So before we go any further, I do want to let you guys know that Finn did provide this unit for me to review for free. They did not compensate me in any other way other than that. Uh, this is not a sponsored video. This is my own unbiased review of the product. I will be testing for a week or two. They actually provided me a total of three of these kits. I gave one to a friend and one to a family member. And they are going to do the same thing and uh, maybe send a little clip video, see how it's working for them. So you guys can get a different perspective from someone that's maybe not as tech savvy as I am and may have other issues with their pool that I may not have to see how well this thing works. Anyway, let's go throw this thing in the water. All right, so there it is, floating there, uh, about an inch or two sticking above the water. And I went ahead and tied it to the stairs there just to make sure it doesn't get stuck in the skimmer basket over there or in anyone's way. Uh, the return jet is over here. So that's a pretty good distance away. And I will let you know how it goes. So I almost forgot we have to do the calibration for the with the uh, test strip. So, hey. Excuse me. So I have to dip the test strip 12 inches below the surface of the water for two seconds. The pump has been running, so we're good there. Shake off the excess. Align on the calibration card. There we go. Here's what the test looks like. All the colors seem to be pretty close to the middle of what they need to be. And I know for a fact that my pool chemistry is balanced. So it appears that this, uh, this test strip should work pretty good and is accurate. So that's a good thing. We'll go ahead and see what the uh, app says to do. Okay, it just said that it received the information and we'll use it to help calibrate the pool. So, so far so good. All right, so it's been about a week, a week and a half since I unboxed and did the first part of this video. And I have to say, I, I like it for the most part. There's a few things I'm gonna go over that uh, is not the best, but uh, it may work for you. So that's what I'm here for, to explain exactly what my experience was and if it's a product for you. Now, the first question that came to my mind was the battery life. Obviously it's battery powered, it's over there floating in the pool right now. And I found out that the battery lasts for a really long time, like over a year. And as long as it's under warranty, you can send it to them and they'll send you a new one or they'll just send you a new one regardless. I'm not sure exactly how it works. That brings up the point that if you don't renew your subscription after a year, you do get a year free subscription, if I didn't mention that already, then you're kind of out of luck as far as the battery goes. I don't think it's replaceable on your own. Well, that being said, having a battery life that long is a good plus you don't ever have to worry about changing it and the app will tell you when it does need to be changed now as far as the accuracy of the ph and the sanitizer uh, they've both been pretty good the ph being much better very accurate and the sanitizer being a little bit different let me tell you why the sanitizer doesn't actually measure the amount of chlorine in your pool electronically that's not possible you need chemicals to do that or the test strips and that is obviously a way to do it with this kit is with the test strips but that's not the point it electronically measures the sanitizing potential electronically. And I don't exactly know how that works, but it kind of goes hand in hand with the chlorine, it kind of doesn't. Now about four days ago, I did have an, a little issue with my pool. It got a little bit cloudy, and that's not necessarily the fault of the fin or my own. I'm not exactly sure what happened. The sanitizer and chlorine levels were perfect throughout the whole time. And I don't know exactly the way pool chemistry works all the time, but if something does get in the water that contains algae, it will bloom even if you have sanitization or chlorine in it. Um, it just kind of feeds off of that and you need to add a lot more if you want it to go away, which is what I did. 
I added a bunch of shock and I got the chlorine level up to 15 or 16 parts per million, which is what you're supposed to do for my level of cyanuric acid. I added more chlorine than I would normally have to in order to get rid of the algae. And as you can see, it looks good. It's, it's completely gone, but that chlorine level is still high. As you can see in the app with the weekly and daily maps here, you can see that that sanitization level went up and down over the last few days, but it never really spiked when I added all that shock. And I did use my TF100 kit here, which is recommended drop test kit as a backup to this system. And that kit told me that I had about 16 parts per million of chlorine in there, whereas the app didn't really show me that. The pH did jump up during that time, as you can see here. I added some pH down as the app suggested, and it went back down right where it needs to be, as you can see. All right, future Andrew here. I just want to cut in real quick and let you know that I was a little bit confused when it came to the chlorine and why it didn't show high when I shocked my pool. That's because it doesn't actually measure the chlorine in the water. It doesn't measure the actual parts per million. It measures the sanitation potential. And since I did have algae in my water, it didn't actually show in any kind of increase. Even though I did have an increase of parts per million, the actual sanitization potential, or as they call kill power or ORP, which is oxidation reduction potential, didn't actually show any higher. It stayed pretty flat line there was you know it went up and down a little bit but it didn't actually jump up like the ph did at that time because the actual orp or kill power of the water was not any greater i hope that makes sense now my pool isn't very big it's a 21 foot by 48 inches so it's about 11,000 gallons let me know down in the comments what size pool you guys have above ground or in ground this system would work with any of that kind big or small really doesn't matter you enter all that in the app and it does the adjustments it needs to do but I'm just curious what kind of pools do you guys have after using this product for the past week the main thing that I've noticed is that this system is designed for simplicity it is very easy to use and it takes the guesswork out of really trying to balance your chemistry on your own which is kind of where it conflicts with me because I'm into that kind of thing I'm a nerd when it comes to chemistry and I have a really nice te test kit that I like to use. I do still suggest getting your own, but only for a backup if you have issues or maybe like when you open your pool and close it or maybe a couple times a year, which I think is gonna be the way that I'm going to be doing this. I don't, I'm not gonna need this test kit as often as I would have used it before, but being the person that I am, I'll still use it just maybe every couple of weeks or every month or so. Now, when I did need to add shock to the pool the app told me I simply scanned the barcode with through with the app and it told me how much of that product to use because it knew the concentration of that particular pool shock and it had it in its database the database seems to be really extensive I, that's the only product that I've really needed to add and if you're curious to get my pH down I didn't have a pH down pool product I used acid that I had on hand that's what I used for that particular case so I couldn't use the app to calculate how much I needed of that. I used a different app called Pool Math. And one other downside that I already mentioned before is the test strips that it uses to measure everything besides the pH, the sanitization, and the temperature. That being the CYA, the cyanuric acid, the total alkalinity, and the total hardness. Now as you can see here, my total alkalinity and my total hardness is both low, and I already knew that going into this. The total alkalinity has a direct effect on the pH, and that's why when I shocked the pool a couple days ago, it jumped the pH way up. And I do like to keep mine a little bit lower. It is low, and I do need to adjust that. So I will be taking advantage of this app and the advice it gives me in order to do that. The total hardness isn't quite as big of a deal for me. I do like to keep it a little bit lower, um, but it is a little bit too low now. And it's not a huge deal for me because I have a vinyl liner pool if you had a uh, an in-ground pool that may be more of an issue for you the cyanuric acid is on par with my test kit it's still a little bit low but i like to keep that on the lower side as well it's better too low and to add more chlorine than too high and the chlorine not to work at all now that being said i did have to use the test strips three or four times in order to get them to match the results that i've gotten every time with my professional test kit so my advice to you if you do get the system is to test it the first like four or five days every day with the strips 
just so you have a accurate reading. The, don't go out necessarily off of the first trip because you're dealing with your phone camera, which can be a factor and you're dealing with sunlight. It does say to do it in direct sunlight. So if there's no sun, then that may be an issue as well. So just do it a couple of times and make sure you're getting similar results each time so that they are not swinging all over the place and you know that it's going to be accurate so you're not adding chemicals that you don't need. Now as far as the accuracy of the temperature that is 100% on point within half a degree of my probe that I've had in there for a couple of years now that I've relied on heavily. It's connected to my SmartThings system. I'll do a separate video on that if you guys want. Let me know down below. So anyway, the temperature is accurate and it is in line with my temperature probe that I've had in there hooked up to SmartThings. I've been comparing them side by side pretty much every day and they have been on point. Now, as far as the range issue I'm having, let me zoom out here. The pool stairs, should be able to see them over here, is where the fin is tied to. I tied it to that so that it wouldn't float around everywhere. And the bridge, the Wi-Fi bridge, is inside the garage, just on the other side of this corner of the garage here. Can you see that? Yeah. On the other side of that corner. And that's good range when there's no cover on the pool. When I do have my solar cover on the pool, which I typically put on every day, I haven't the last few days because it's been so hot. When the cover is on, it causes the fin to kind of lay down and go under the water. And I would imagine that cuts the Bluetooth signal to the bridge in the garage. So you can tell by the app, about halfway through Friday through halfway through Saturday, you can see there's a big gap there with no dots or points that measured anything because it lost range. And it did tell me that it lost range. I couldn't really figure out why until I realized that it was underneath the solar cover and it was laying flat partially underwater, the top part of it partially underwater, which has the Bluetooth transmitter in it. So that being said, what I've been doing is the part by the stairs, I've just been kind of folding over and that's where the fin has kind of been sitting and it's, and it's worked out just fine. So I wouldn't say that's an issue with signal range or anything like that. Just keep in mind that if it does fold flat and it's not sitting upright, then it may have some kind of signal issue. So a couple other things I wanna to touch on real quick is that the fin does work with chlorine, bromine, and saltwater pools. I have chlorine, so I have can't speak with how it works with the other two, but I would imagine it works very similar. And another thing that the app uh, provides is the ability to link with your local pool store if you're interested, and you can even add things to the shopping cart directly from the app and It'll tell you what you need to get. It's another thing I haven't been able to test because my local pool store, for one, isn't a part of that system, I don't believe. And also, I don't go to the local pool store often. I have everything I need here already, which isn't many chemicals. I don't add clarifier or algicide or any of that weird stuff. And it seems like the Fin app doesn't really offer those kinds of things either. It's kind of a no-nonsense approach to taking care of your pool, which is definitely a positive review in that respect for me because you don't need any of that crazy stuff that the pool store claims you do. So all that being said, I don't think this product replaces your higher-end drop test kit. I'll leave links to a couple that I recommend down in the description below. I don't think any product on the market can replace a physical chemistry set as it is, but I do think that this one is accurate enough to use weekly, monthly. You may just have to pull it out every couple of months just to make sure that everything is right with your pool. The last thing you want is something going wrong. Now the final thing to touch on is the price. The price for the Fin system is $349 MSRP. It's a little bit steep, but it does come with the first free year of the monitoring service. And every year after that is $99. So since it is a subscription service, I do think the price is a little bit high, but that's what it is. I'm just relaying the information to you guys. I do think it's a solid product, so you'll have to make the decision for yourself if it's for you. It definitely adds a lot more convenience to my maintenance system, especially when it comes to the tem temperature and just checking the chlorine real quick and making sure it doesn't drop too low. The main features, of course, being the fact that it tells you when you need anything. You don't have to check it manually yourself. Man, it's hot out here. That being said, I am looking forward to keeping this system running in my pool. I will be using it from here on out. I'll be renewing the $99 subscription next year uh, because I do think it's definitely worth that price. 
Of the 349 up front, that's going to have to be up to you guys. Woo! Had to get out of the sun. All right, so one final thing. We do have a giveaway for one of these products. If you do find that it's a little bit too expensive for you or you just want to give it a shot and try to win one of these yourselves, there will be information in the top line of the description down below for the giveaway. As long as it's still available, it will be there. So that being said, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like down below and consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next video.